welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the relationship between pairs of angles. So, since relationship between pairs of angles ang pag-uusapan natin, so we're going to talk about two angles. Not necessarily na magkadikit sila, pero yung relationship ng dalawang angles na yon kailangan nating malaman kung ano. Okay? So, mag-start tayo sa complementary angles. Okay, so ang complementary angles ay dalawang angles na kapag inad mo ang measurement nila, magtototal or magsasum ng 90 degrees. So, do you still remember kung anong klasing angle ang 90 degrees? Yon ay ang right angle. So, ibig sabihin, kapag nag-add ka ng dalawang angles at nagtotal siya ng 90 degrees, ibig sabihin nun, complementary angle sila. Okay, so let's have an example. I have here angle H I K and angle K I J. So dalawang angles na magkadikit and as you can see, isang angle na H I J ay right angle based on this symbol, yung square sa kanyang angle. Okay? So right angle siya. So ibig sabihin, say for example, Ang measure ng angle HIK is equal to 32 degrees. What do you think will be the measure of angle KIJ? So, based on our definition of complementary angles, measure of angle HIK plus measure of angle KIJ is equal to 90 degrees. So, we substitute 32 degrees plus measure of angle KIJ is equal to 90 degrees. Then, to find the measure of angle KIJ, we transpose 32 degrees, it becomes minus 32 degrees. Then, measure of angle KIJ is equal to 58 degrees. So, 90 degrees minus 32 degrees is 58 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, itong natilang angle na to is 58 degrees since this is 32 degrees. So, pag tinotal siya, 90 degrees na siya and ibig sabihin, angle KIJ and angle HIK are complementary angles. Okay? So, punta naman tayo ngayon sa supplementary angles. So, ang supplementary angles naman, dalawang angles na ang measurement ay nagtutotal ng 180 degrees. Okay? So, yung 180 degrees is a straight angle. So, ito yun, straight angle. Okay? So, kung halimbawa itong figure natin ito, we have two angles, angle PSA at angle PST. So, measure of angle PST is equal to 75 degrees. Okay? So, what will be the measure of angle PSA? Okay? Now, i-add natin based sa definition, measure of angle PST plus measure of angle PSA is equal to 180 degrees. Then, measure of angle PST is 75 degrees. We substitute. Then, measure of angle PSA is equal to 180 degrees. So, measure of angle PSA is equal to 180 degrees minus 75 degrees. Dahil, ito transpose natin sa kabila. Okay? Then, measure of angle PSA is equal to, what is 180 degrees minus 75 degrees? That is 105 degrees. Therefore, itong angle na to is 105 degrees. And therefore, angle PSA and angle PST are supplementary angles. Madali lang, hindi ba? So, punta naman tayo sa pangatlo, adjacent angles. 
So, ito na mga adjacent angles, wala tayong i-compute dito. Okay, ang definition lang niya, dalawang angles na magkadikit. Meron siyang common vertex at meron siyang common side. Okay, so tingnan natin itong figure na to. We have here two angles. Angle R, A, I, and angle I, A, D. Okay, so ito yung angle R, A, I. The other one is angle I, A, D. Okay, so as you can see, ang common vertex niya is point A. Okay? Point A is the common vertex. Okay? So, ano naman yung magiging common side niya? Ang common side is IA. Okay? So, IA is the common side. Okay? Makikita ninyo yon sa name ng angle. Yung AI saka yung IA. Common. At yung point A na to, nasa gitna pareho. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong adjacent angles. Okay, so dito na tayo sa pang-apat, vertical angles. So, ano naman ang vertical angles? Vertical angles are two non-adjacent angles that formed by intersecting lines. So, kapag nakakita kayo ng dalawang lines na nag-intersect, merong vertical angles doon. Pero ang sabi, two non-adjacent angles. So, ano yun? Ibig sabihin, remember yung kanina adjacent magkadikit? So, ibig sabihin, yung non-adjacent, hindi siya magkadikit. So, angle 1 and angle 3. Okay? So, angle 1 and angle 3 are non-adjacent angles and therefore, they are vertical angles. Okay? And also, angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical angles. And remember do sa ating previous lesson na ang vertical angles ay congruent. Therefore, angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. And angle 2 is also congruent to angle 4. And the last Nak one, linear pair. So, ano naman ang linear pair? Linear pair are two angles that are adjacent and supplementary to each other. So, ibig sabihin, connected yung supplementary, ha? Huwag nyong kakalimutan. Ang supplementary, may total na 180 degrees, straight angle siya. So, ibig sabihin, eto yon Okay? So, angle, angle TXU and angle UXV uh, are linear pair. So, eto yon saka ito. Okay? So, meron pa bang iba na linear pair? Meron. Yung nasa ilalim niya. Kasi another pair of angles yun, di ba? Okay. So, ano yung isa? Angle T, X, W, and angle W, X, V. So, meron pa bang iba? Actually, apat yan na pares. Okay? So, itong T, X, W, saka W, X, V, eto yun. Di ba? Now, meron pa etong nandi dito, 'di ba? Kung titingnan mo, nag-form din siya ng linear pair, straight angle din siya. So, ibig sabihin, angle UXV and angle WXV. Okay? Ito at saka ito ay another pair, another linear pair. And another one, ito at saka ito. So, angle UXT and angle uh, TXW. So, dito pala sa ganitong klase ng figure, makikita natin na merong four linear pairs. Kasi kung titingnan mo, paikot yan. Ito, isang linear pair. Ito, another linear pair. Ito, another linear pair. And another linear pair. So, apat. Okay? I hope may natutunan kayo sa aking diniscuss ngayong araw na ito. Sana magamit ninyo sa mga susunod na topic. Okay? So, goodbye for now. Stay safe, everyone.